Anime movies are easy to overlook. Most anime series have some hype surrounding them as they come out, and most of them, especially the recently aired ones, you can find legally through places like Crunchyroll or Funimation or a few others. Conversely, movies are rare to find legally, especially if you just want to watch them online, and they're normally only available several months after they came out in Japan. Plus, a series is talked about during the several months as it airs, well, the movie's only released once, and then that's it, so everyone's going to forget it after a couple weeks. So, most movies, except for the ones that get really big, no one talks about. And that's part of the reason that today I want to talk to you about the movie Magic Treehouse. And also because I'm pretty sure that more of you would know about this from the kids' books than the actual anime movie that was made like six or seven years ago. Plus, I decided to scrap my original idea for the weekend, so I thought I'd watch this movie quickly, make a review, and at least get something out of substance and not just the top list that no one cares about. Though I am doing a few top lists, and hopefully people will actually care about those. Anyway. This is a kids movie and this might be something that turns some people off But just because something is for kids doesn't mean that it can't be enjoyed by people of all ages And this is especially true for anime But of course there are other kids shows that just are dull and boring and have nothing substance to them for the older people who might want to watch them So is this an example of a kids show that can be appreciated by everyone? And well, sometimes this show is about two kids, Jack and Annie, who find a magic treehouse, which by finding a place in a book that they want to go to, the magic treehouse takes them there. The show can be divided into four different arcs, each one following them as they travel to a different time period and place, along with their goal of finding a medallion from each of these four places. As a kid's show, you can't expect too much complexity, and this is something that made the show feel dull at times. There is some sort of danger each place that they went, ranging from dinosaurs to pirates, but it's easy to tell that they will find a way out of it without being hurt or anything. So a lot of the tension that a show like this should have wasn't as good as it could be. But the first and last arc did have some really good moments. I also loved the adventure that the show offered, especially in the first arc as they explore the world of dinosaurs, and it really felt like we were going on a journey with them. Sadly, this did not be as strong through the later arcs, but it was still neat seeing all the places that they went. But the thing that I found the most interesting about the show was the characters, specifically what Jack went through as he developed through their journey. It's easy to understand the two characters at the beginning. Jack wants to just read books instead of doing anything exciting, while Andy wants to use windows as doors and go on adventures, and with the mean siblings, Jack gets dragged along on these adventures. Throughout the journey they go on, Jack becomes more confident and ready to try new things, but he also sees the danger that he, and more importantly Annie, are in, with them close to death on a number of occasions. There are times when his development doesn't exactly make sense, but for a kid's movie that doesn't really surprise me. I also really love the dynamic between the two characters. It's not really a thing unique, but they really just work well off of each other. Unfortunately, the story here had some major issues if you think about them at all. The biggest one of these is a plot convenience, where the characters just seem to have the perfect luck because they need to drive the plot forward, such as finding the first medallion. I also question how Annie is able to make friends with animals the way she does, like Henry the Dinosaur or Jimmy the Dolphin, but maybe there's some weird magic power that she has. That would actually be kind of cool for a plot twist. But speaking of magic, this is another thing about the story I don't think was well explained. Like, where did the treehouse come from, or how does magic work beyond them just traveling? And surprisingly, beyond them traveling to the different places, there wasn't really anything done with magic, but still, it would have been nice to have them learn more, though I kind of understand why they didn't do it this way, and it seems like there would be more that they get into in the later books, which were never adapted into an anime, at least I don't think they were. Maybe they'll make a sequel to the movie. The animation here was very bright and vibrant, and this combined with the soundtrack just made this a fun show to watch. The ending song really was amazing, it really captured the bond between Jack and Annie, along with the fun adventures that the characters went on. So, in conclusion, this is a pretty good movie. It's a fun, lighthearted adventure, which is a type of show I do enjoy watching from time to time. It is kind of dull at times, and the story does start to fall apart if you think about it too much, but for the audience that was intended to, I think it would be fine. So I give this show a score of a 6.5 out of 10, and a gradient of worth checking out. If you're looking for an anime that you can show kids without being completely bored by it, you might enjoy this one. For other recommendations, I would suggest Little Nemo, which is my favorite kids movie with the whole adventure thing, and yeah, I just ignore that one part about the end I didn't like. For another recommendation, I'm actually going to go with Little Witch Academia, the OVA since I haven't actually seen the series, but the series would probably be good to hear because this is another family-friendly show and I need to watch that series. So that concludes my review for today. A special thanks to Shadowblazer3000 for making a review of this anime like nine months ago and make me want to watch the anime. Well, it took a while, but I finally got to it. Anyway, I will see you all later.